Hello, geocaching friends. Hiker James, geocaching talk show, live from Ohio, USA. The time is 3 p.m. and the temperature is 83 degrees. Warm and sunny. And welcome to the show. I'll be your host, Hiker James, with uh, co-host Kenny Gibb from Bullhead City, Arizona. Uh, Ken, you on there? Yeah, hi, James. How you doing? Can you hear me okay? Yep, yep, yep. Sound good there. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's uh, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time out here in Arizona. And uh, the temperature uh, today, uh, you ain't going to believe this, 70, 75 degrees. No way. What yeah, happened? It, uh, <laughs> well, uh, well, it started raining, uh, I don't know, about 8 o'clock this morning, and it it just now stopped, so it's been raining all morning. So it, <laughs> it feels pretty good I, right I now. Think, I didn't think you'd ever beat me. Ever. Oh, <laughs> man, that, that is nice, isn't it? Yeah, we got the windows and doors open. and but, uh, huh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> it's too bad you can't take a picture of that, huh? Yeah, well... <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, it's not going to last too long because uh, once right. the sun comes out, it's uh, it's not going to be a good situation. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's... Well, uh, you know, you, you you have it for a while and then you lose it. So it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I guess as long as as long as you don't get a foot and a half of snow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, well, uh, well, what we, I, uh, did, we got an hour here hear, today. Yeah, let's talk slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Hello, world. Uh, geocaching friends out there. Hacker James here with Kenny Gibb as a co host on Hacker James Geocaching Talk Show every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or New York Time. And Kenny, uh, he he is from Arizona, so he's on, I think it's Mountain Time, is it? Yeah, Mountain Standard Time. Okay, Mountain Standard Time. So uh, we kind of got this show set up uh, originally, and it's still pretty much that. We're, um, we're on here to for people to learn more about geocaching. Um, for people to call in, ask questions if there's anything they don't know about geocaching or if they got a story to tell about their experience out there or whatever it is. If you think it's funny, if you think it's serious, if call in and tell us your side of it and uh, we'll go from there. Um, we do have now, we're set up with the Skype. Uh, anybody who has Skype can call in on that. <clears throat> now, the, the Skype is a, if you don't know what it is, it's a program that you can go up online and download. It's free. You go to skype.com and that's spelled S K Y P E. And uh, you can learn more about it up there. And all you do is just, you know, go, it, you download it and it comes up and you sign up you have to sign up for at least the the free account and after you sign up for that free account you 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 got your uh, your name you know your sign in name and password and all that and and anybody that's on Skype um it's free phone call you know it's you you can video call you can phone call you can even mute your video if you don't want them to see you um and that's, to have uh, the, that's available. That's available worldwide, also. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just um, limited anywhere uh, to the U.S. So if you're over there in the U.K. somewhere, or if you're in Germany, or you're no matter where you're at in the world, if you if you are here and you can hear this show, if you have Skype, you can call in and talk for free, and uh, it doesn't cost any anybody anything. 
Um, I decided to go with that instead of an 800 number again because you know, there's so many people who got cell phones that don't have Skype, and uh, you can still call in on the cell phone or your house phone or pay phone, even if you got a handful of quarters. But uh, I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I'd like to have what it takes to call here from overseas. <laughs> I don't know that but you yeah, can find yeah. a pay phone anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I can take you to one. It's only. A, not too far from here, <laughs> but I don't know if they're leaving it there for a, you know, an antique model or what it is, you know. But but it sure does cost more than a quarter. Don't make a local call now. So I think fifty or seventy five cents. Well, maybe you can go there now uh, and make a cash out of it. Can you just gave me yeah. an idea for a new cash? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, because a lot of, you know, everybody pulls up to a pay phone and it's, you don't have to be so, <laughs> yeah, 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 so I'd that, be so that about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's oh Ma, good. Ma Mel is going to say, um, she's going to say, why, why is all these people pulling up there? Nobody's making any calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you just have to fake it. I'm not even going to. I'll, I'll take a picture of it when I get it on there and send it to you. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, uh, it would, besides that, um, just about to the end of uh, just 31 days uh, of geocaching. So uh, how, how have you been doing on that? I haven't. <laughs> you haven't. I said this. One. I set this one out. I did the one on the 17th to get my uh, international geocaching day. I don't know, but um, no, uh, I just haven't. Uh, well, with getting that uh, other vehicle, and I've been working pretty pretty much about 10 hours a day. And so on the weekend, I just kind of sat back and rested from all of that. But I'm going to get in on the next one, though. Um, I got it planned out a little different. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we just (laughs) kind of lost it there towards the end, so uh, that's okay. Yeah. Well, Ed, if there's anybody out there listening, um, give us a call. Let us know how yours went. Um, If anybody did the 31-day caching or how many days you went before you fizzled out on it, uh, we'd be glad to hear from you. Hey, how about this? If anybody uh, wants to know anything, if they're listening to this archive next next week or next month, uh, if you want to put in your little um, story or not, whatever, uh, send us an email. Um, we read it, and and we'll mention it back there on on the next show. Uh, Ken, how much? How many uh, calories do you burn in a day? Boy, it had uh. It depends uh, what kind of caches we're after, but uh could be quite a few. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, we could uh, we go out there and uh, the, there there was, uh, I'll, I'll bring that up later on. Uh, I, don't know, I couldn't find the one I needed to look for to, to actually give a web address, but there was a some kind of a health thing. Um, survey uh, monkey? Monkey survey, have you heard of that? I don't believe I have. It was um, through a health program, and uh, they sent me an email uh, wanting to do a survey on how much geocaching related uh, is related to exercise for you. And they go through a lot of questions and stuff on there, but um, they give they send you a book. Uh, to keep track of all your geocaching, where you went, uh, how many miles you walked. They sent you a pedometer. Pet, yeah, pedometer, uh-huh. I think is what they call it. They send yeah. you one of them, and you just strap that on, and you go geocaching. And when you get back, you log it in that little book. And then uh, every month, they send you a survey, and you just fill it out and one of them, a part of it, is your geocaching trip, and you put down uh, 
the date, uh, how many miles you walked, uh, and all of this. And, you know, it, it kind of helps them. They're doing this because they say that, you know, exercising, uh, the geocaching is, is the same exercising that you get anywhere else. You know, people go out and walk two miles a day. And so you go out there and geocache and walk five miles a day easy and you don't even notice it. Oh, yeah. Uh, just, so, uh, having fun, so. Right. <laughs> and I don't know, you know, if the back and forth walking around in a little circle looking for the cache, if it's even going to register on that pedometer. But um, definitely, you know, if you have to walk five, ten, uh, two tenths of a mile to get to the next one, it'll show up on there. Uh, well, so, I, anyway, I do have one, so I may have to uh, check that out. Yeah, well, let's do that. Just to, we'll, we'll do that sometime and get back with you on the next show. Um, we'll compare, see how many geocaches you get, and see how many geocaches I get, and we'll compare how many miles we walked, you know, for them or looking for them. I could put on a lot of miles looking for them around here <laughs> because I can't find them. <laughs> yeah, I have to put one on. I have to put one on Tina so I know how far I walked. Yeah. She just stands still and says, there it is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Did I leave anything out? Uh, probably have. But hey, uh, Ken, let's uh, let's do a commercial there. Um, I got a new one down there. Uh, you see that? Open Caching U.S. Um, Mr. Yeah, Yuck. Yeah. yeah. He says... Um, He's going to try to make it to the show today. He He's at a birthday. I think he said it's grandchildren. Yeah. And they have two birthdays uh, to do today because uh, they was both born on the same time, but in five years apart. Oh, wow. So he, he, he's dealing with two bar birthday parties today instead of one. So, uh, you yeah. um, know. But he said he would try to make it on here before we got off the air. And I hope he does. Uh so go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and hit that open cache in USA, and we'll see what I what I did on that commercial. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll be back in 27 seconds. Today's show is brought to you in part by Geocaching Blog from Open Caching North America. Find it at blog.opencaching.us. Free geocache listings for the United States, Canada, Mexico, and other North American territories. Check it out today. That's blog.opencaching.us or go to opencaching.ca and click on blog. All right. There it is. Uh, yeah. That, that is one good man there. Uh, I'm telling you, he's, he's really got his blog in the blog. You know, he um, did um, interviews and stuff with different people about geocaching. Uh, He's done one with me. He's done one with Paul. He's done one with the the fella. I don't know if any of you listeners out there remember the, or know of the fella up in Canada that found that blog. I, <laughs> I'm still stuck on blog. He found that cash. Um, you remember all about that one, Ken? It was up up in a way up there. How long had it, had it been without a no find on it? Uh, I don't think it had ever been found. It, it had never been found. Uh, been out there since it. I don't think it was exactly out there. Two thousand. I think it was out there in two thousand one or something like that. But anyway, um, he did an interview on him on there. But yeah, you go up there on that on the blog part, and you can search different different stories that people's uh, been interviewed with, and uh, it, you can even you know contact him if you've got something that you wanna want to have him put on a blog. Uh, I think he said he had uh, like over 230 listeners or readers on his blog. So that's pretty good. Ah, uh, speaking of listeners. Yeah, well, I so have that, that number from last week in the archived. Um, it, um, it just I'm kind of started growing. Yeah, it did. Um, I'm going to go up there right now. Okay. Am I still there? Yep, you're still here. Okay, because I just I just went and uh, started clicking on my different screens here. 
Uh, pretty sure that it would have stayed there. I know it did on the Skype when I called in. Um, today, as of right now, 299 listeners. Wow. And that was just from last wow. week's show. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate right. that. Um, you know, if uh, you know you, anyone out there gets a chance, uh, like James said, you can uh, send him an email. Or uh, or just give us a call, and we're here to uh, talk about all things geocaching related. Or just click on the button that says "Call with Scrape." I believe that's what it looks like, isn't it? Or is it the same thing? It's the same thing. Okay. So right there on. you go. While I'm thinking of it, I'm on this page. Can the uh, are you done with the Scrape testing um, show we did? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can know. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that one off of there. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that that's amazing. Um, that, that it was since Monday night. That's when uh, when we started that checking out on the uh, archive listeners. So from Monday night to Friday afternoon, four and a half days, 299 listeners on there that, that heard about it last week. I'm kind of anxious to see what it's going to look like in a month because, you know, here we've been running, you know, 30s and 40s all this time. And there's a 54 in there from about April, uh, 49 from April. But, you know, the rest of them are all running in the 20s and 30s. And then since this uh, little deal kicked in, it, well, it just blew my mind out. But um, I'm curious of how it's going to look now when, when this show goes into archive. What is the uh, other show going to do then? You know. But I, if there's any of you people out there that listen to this show on the archive, if you ever get a chance, do call in because we want to say hi to you and find out what you think of this program. You can you can call in and talk to me. You can call in and talk to Ken. doesn't matter. We're both right here on the same thing. But... Um, Ken, I got that uh, picture up there of that little telephone. It says, call a guest. Now, okay. if I had a guest to call, I sure would. <laughs> but it did work. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I tried it out on Tina. <laughs> okay. Well, if it wasn't for her, I would have a lot of things I'd never know about, you know, because I used her for a test. <laughs> <laughs> She's being used, she says. <laughs> But, uh, okay. yeah, I'm uh, looking here at uh, the uh, cache base uh, trackable uh, challenge, and uh, mine is just kind of sitting stagnant in uh, in Tennessee. Uh, yours actually has been to Colorado and made it up to Washington for their uh, mega event up there, so... It's uh, it's traveling some miles. It's got a uh, 6,900 miles on it. Yeah, I got an email a couple of days ago. Somebody discovered it while it was there. So then they, you know, thanks for the discovery. Um, it that was probably what a, a week after it got there. So yeah, it's uh, it's. I don't. I'm I'm gonna. I, I told you I was gonna call that fellow that took it there and see what what kind of a deal it was about putting it out there. So I'm going to leave myself a note. Uh, I won't call him. I'm going to text him. Message. Uh, I a couple of pictures on uh, on that trackable, too. Are they? From uh, geocaching? Jay Herber was the person who had it, and he took it to a different couple places. And, uh, you know, if anyone wants to look that up, it's uh, GC number is uh, TB5VG6B. So and that's a cash base okay. uh, travel bug. Now I'm going to read that back in German. All right, well, what do you call it? Um, I'm going to read that back to you. It's uh, uh, Thomas Boy 5. Zebra, girl, six, boy. 
not zebra, uh, Victor. Victor V. Okay, V. So that V and the Z sounds a lot. So, yeah, that helped. All right. Thomas, boy, five. Victor, girl, six. Boy. I should have that right here on my page. You know, we're at... I want to I want to give you a, a um a GC code to look at too. It's called through the wormhole. Okay. That's interesting reading, but I don't know if I'm young enough to do it or not, but you know how I am when I see something I go for it. Uh yeah. Okay, it's uh GC 1J E 7 P. So that would be girl, oh, let's see, uh, C, A, B, C, 1, J, E, like elephant, 7, P, like Paul. I'm going to have to get that chart so I can re I can get the right name. I was wondering if somebody's going to really get me on that one of these days. It's an E <laughs> for girl. And e, so it's not George either, so... <laughs> But yeah, that's interesting there, and uh, it's only uh, six miles from here, and I'm, I'm going to try it, maybe. I'll, I'll look at it. I'll, I'll say that much. I'll go to it, and I'll look at it, right, because so there's some it, pictures uh, on Yeah. <laughs> there's pictures on here that scare me. <laughs> um, and it's a... Uh, Four star terrain. Uh, and by looking at it, I think it ought to be a twelve or fourteen. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, let me pick up some of these pictures here. Yeah. Wow. It is that yep. a, a tree? Yeah. So it's, it's in uh, different stages. Out, you know, it's like a multi cache. The guy says, I don't mind if you post pictures. He says, I actually, he says, he wants people to post pictures of it because that way to let them know what kind of predicaments they're going to get themselves into when they get there. So well, that, I don't have to take my son with me to climb that tree. He might even have to do the other one too there when you get to it. <laughs> I'll tell him, I'll, I'll stand up here and take pictures. <laughs> Well, that, uh, yeah, that is a pretty uh, interesting, um, I'm going to yeah. have to come out there and try that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> they said they had another one um, back earlier, and it burnt, burnt up. So I don't know how, what I'm looking at now, they must have really changed it a lot. Yes, sir, this um, episode ended right here. I don't know why. And that's the way it was in my archive folder. So I don't know what happened to the last 45 minutes of it or whatever. It was supposed to be ran for an hour, but we didn't make that. So anyway, we hope you're enjoying listening to these Throwback Thursday episodes. And we'd like to invite everybody to our new episode. Uh, we just started that not about a month ago or about so. Anyway, it's... um. Worldwide Geocaching Podcast. And that you can find also on Spreaker.com under our uh, Worldwide Geocaching Podcast episodes. And that would be uh, go to Spreaker.com slash user slash Worldwide Geocaching Podcast. And go down to where it says Shows and click on shows and you'll see under geocaching throwback thursday there will be worldwide geocaching podcast and we invite everybody to go up there we need to get some numbers going on that one as well so that's the one that my wife and i do every week and it's published every monday and they're all new we go geocaching on the weekends on saturday and then we do our show on Sunday, and then we post it on Mondays. So if you want the address to that straight to it, 
It is Spreaker.com slash shows slash worldwide dash geocaching dash podcast. Okay, so we're going to get off of here and let it end. And we appreciate everybody that's been listening to it. We have some high numbers on it. and But like I said, we'd like to have some higher numbers on our newer show, uh, the Worldwide Geocaching Podcast. And it's interesting, and we talk about all the geocaches that we found that weekend. Okay, check it out, and... Catch you everybody later. Have a safe week and be safe at geocaching. And whatever you do, cash on. <laughs>